Well, there's new information from the Navy on the number of sailors afflicted with the H1N1 virus. Navy officials now say that there are 23 confirmed cases of the virus. Commander in Chief Barack Obama has signed an emergency declaration for the H1N1 flu. H1N1 originated in Veracruz, Yave uh, province in Mexico, which was a surprise to us. We never expected a pandemic to launch just within miles of the U.S. border. When DI identifies a new virus, our first imperative is always to learn as much as possible about it in order to secure our American service members, and we do that through medical intelligence. Medical intelligence threats are, are health and medical related threats that degrade U.S. military capability. Medical intelligence is understanding the natural environment and the potential threat that it poses. It's also about how human beings can take that and adapt it to their own use. It's essentially uh, epidemiologic tools on steroids. You have the best, uh, most insightful means at your disposal. Uh, to study disease. And NCMI, with our capabilities through medical intelligence and being a part of DIA, has the ability to integrate all of that information together to tell the full story for our policymakers. When DIA discovered these new influenza cases in Mexico, we immediately applied medical intelligence analysis and through that identified a potentially new and deadly strain of H1N1. H1N1, uh, again, is a survivor. The, the components, the genetic components of H1N1 have been lurking around for at least a century. Uh, the components of the H1N1, the 2009 H1N1, can be found in the 1918 H1N1 genome. There's a lot of questions about the 1918 pandemic, and people continue to still look at it as an example of what happens when you have a very severe pandemic. We do know that the mortality estimate globally was 50 to 100 million people. Now that's equivalent to the estimates for a major nuclear exchange. The Spanish influenza came at the end of World War I, and if you compare the two, 116,000 Americans died uh, in the war. Compare that to 195,000 Americans who died in just one month during the Spanish influenza. It was an order of magnitude more deadly. And this is another uh, classic example of disease being a much greater force than bullets or weapons. The fact that an unseen adversary can kill more people than a conventional adversary is something that we need to prepare for at all times because we never know when that next event is going to happen. The first reports came out in early April of 2009 and we follow uh, reports of unusual illness, uh, ministry, foreign ministry reports of disease clusters, uh, especially during uh, flu season. With H1N1, right from the get-go, we're already working with different organizations to try to identify what this is. We're using the open source information as well that the public is also looking at and trying to discern what exactly this unique disease is, how different it is, and if it truly is a pandemic. So pandemic disease warning is all about notifying, in our case, the Department of Defense, that there's the possibility of a disease that's going to spread rapidly, globally, and have an impact on operational readiness. DIA's medical intelligence proved instrumental in exposing the truth about the H1N1 pandemic and ensured that in the future, all service members will be vaccinated against the threat. Disease is the third army. This is what medical intelligence does. We fight the third army. Go as far back as anybody can recall, uh, or anybody has uh, recorded, no single weapon, no single factor has reduced fighting strength or taken more people off the battlefield than infectious disease. And that continues to this day. Service members will once again be receiving their annual flu shot. And following last year's concern over the H1N1 virus, health leaders decided to include the vaccine for that virus in the 2010 seasonal flu shot. We think about this every day. Uh, we monitor indications and warning for pandemic disease every day, knowing full well that it may never happen for decades. 
But we also know full well that it will happen. It is a certainty. We don't know if nuclear war will break out. We don't know where the next hostility will occur uh, politically. But we do know that pandemic will happen again. It is an absolute certainty and we were ready for it.